<sighs> Question for you. Where can you go where you can get fat, full, and happy? Where can you go that's safe and familiar? Why the tavern, of course. And that's exactly where we're going to go today, in Tavern Master. Tavern Master is a medieval tavern management simulator developed by Untitled Studios. The goal is to build a nice tavern that serves tasty ale to the local villagers and manage your tavern staff, organize events, and raise your prestige in the process. There are two game modes in Tavern Master, Sandbox and New Game. New Game will give you a brief tutorial on the basics and mechanics of the game, and you go through the normal steps of progression and unlocks. Now, unlike the last game I reviewed, this little indie developer got sandbox mode right. You start with everything available from the start and you build to your heart's content. Here's looking at you, Jurassic World. The controls are simple and intuitive and building things is straightforward and fun. With sad for camera panning and right click to rotate the camera. You can't find your keys, but the game is so simple I don't really see that as much of an issue. There are three keyboard layouts, however, if you need them. You also have some very basic graphic and audio options. The game mechanics work like this. You build your tavern, hire staff, purchase drinks, and eventually food. The ultimate goal is to get as many guests per day as possible, maximize profits, and expand your establishment. Your first purchase will be a barrel of beer, and then some tables and benches for your customers to sit, and then of course lights. The guests won't sit where there isn't any lights, so this is vital to pay attention to. Your shop options include tables, seats, decorations, lights, special items, and carpets. In the tables section you have long and short tables, simple and deluxe versions, each with different prestige levels and seating capacities. The seats tab is similar to the table sections, and some of the items in the game you can adjust the colors, which is a nice touch. In the decorations section you have a decent amount of decorations here to make your tavern more pleasing to the eye and also raise your prestige level. Each decoration will also give a value on how many customers it attracts. Use lots of decorations to increase the customer base. Lights are pretty straightforward. You have wall hanging and floor models that can go anywhere. One thing I wish that you could do is use chandeliers to save wall and floor space, but I suppose that would be weird to place as you can't see the ceiling anyways, so I guess I understand why they did that. In the special section you have different builds that allow you to expand to a new floor like stairs, or you have adventure table for example. These guys, when they're seated, will go out and perform missions to get rare items like fish, ham, mushrooms, and other items that you'll need to organize events and serve rarer dishes of food. Carpets give you a variety of rugs and runners that you can place under your tables for more aesthetic value, and they can also raise your prestige level and attract more guests. In the upper right you have a guest per day counter, and clicking on that shows how many guests are coming from where. On the upper left you have a day by day summary which shows your financials, your service statistics, and also if any angry customers left due to waiting too long or poor service. You'll have two game speeds and a pause feature. One thing to note is that I nearly spent all my time on the fastest speed, especially towards the end as you are often waiting many days to complete quests towards the end of the game. So I didn't really find the normal speed useful besides in the very beginning. You also have a quest tab which shows the current tasks needed to get guest points. Quest points unlock recipes, money, special items like the Starry Night painting, and elite staff members. An issue towards the end of the game is that the quests typically take a ridiculous amount of time and it seems almost arbitrary. It seems like it's done just to make the game longer and kind of drag it out. Under the staff tab you can hire bartenders, waitresses, chefs, guards, and researchers later. Each staff member has their own perks, skills, and stats that you need to consider. You'll also have to adjust their salaries periodically to keep them happy, and certain tasks will agitate them more than others. Cleaning will affect their mood, for example. They gain experience and you can upgrade which skills you see fit. You have a build tab that allows you to build walls, doors, windows, and floors. Keep in mind that you have limited space, which kind of sucks, and only four floors to work with. That's the only thing I would change is the ability to have a larger plot to build on. 
In the research tab, you'll find upgrades like bands, special events, a kitchen to cook food, and even a hotel for guests to sleep in later on, which is a nice little feature. Once you have a kitchen, you can hire chefs and serve food. There are a bunch of fun menu options you can choose from to put on the menu, and each will be unlocked via quests and normal progression. Each disc requires some base ingredients which you can fill up manually through the kitchen crates, or special ingredients that can only be acquired through adventures. The higher the food rating, the higher the chance for rare guests like wizards and royalty. The adventures can be initiated through your adventurer table. Simply click on it and it will bring up missions for you guys to go work on, each with a difficulty level and what items they will bring back. One thing I found annoying is that they can often fail even at 96% chance, so just keep it at 100%. The prestige level you have will affect their performance. So your prestige can always be raised easily by adding decorations, so that'll help you with your adventures. Later on you'll be able to build research desks and hire researchers to speed your research along. You'll also need to hire a guard to protect against theft of your precious wine. You can also organize tavern events that will bring in large sums of money if you serve all the guests adequately. Each event will typically require special items procured via the Adventurer tab. It starts with basic people and guests, and it goes all the way up to princes and royalty, and wizards and pirates. It's pretty fun. Overall, considering the simplicity of this game, the gameplay is really fun and it's addicting. It's done really well and it's a lot of fun managing your little tavern and seeing the progression. Graphically, obviously, there's it's pretty basic and it's blocky, so there's not much to say here, but it works well enough, and the food items and the decor are done pretty well. The animations are simple, but they're charming, and the shadows and lighting are decent enough. Overall, it's fine for what it is. The music is fun and it's jovial, and the sound effects are done well. There's no complaints here. It's pretty basic stuff. There's not really much to speak of as far as maps go. You're given a decent amount of space to work with, but I really do wish you could expand further and keep going. You can expand to higher floors, so that's something to keep in mind. I just wish that you had a bigger plot overall to deal with, and also that you could change maps. Technically, the game ran fine. I ran into no issues whatsoever, and that's pretty much to be expected with the simplicity of the game. It ran perfect with no issues at around 165 frames per second for me, so no issues there, technically. Overall, Tavern Master is a fun and charming little game that I think gives you a good value of gameplay for your money. It's only $13.49, and I got about 10 solid hours out of it before I got to the end game, so I think it's totally worth the value. For $13.49, it's a charming little management sim that I recommend. The only things I would have liked to see were more map options, more decorations, no guest limit, and would have been cool to see storylines develop between the staff. Come on, it's a restaurant. There's going to be some work-related romance here. A little Sims action would do well here. So get out there, get some people drunk, fat, full, and happy, and I would recommend Tavern Master. It's a fun little game. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for sticking with me if you stuck with me till the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and each other.